I moved to California from my home in northern Michigan 19 years ago, and for most of the last decade, I've been living in Crestline, up in the Santa Rosa Mountains overlooking San Bernardino. Sunday, a fire in Waterman Canyon closed Highway 18, our main route home. Lilith, my wife, was stuck at the base of the hill for nearly four hours and shot this video. The girls and I, meanwhile, were stuck up on the rim. We take fires seriously in California, of course. We've seen conflagrations that take out hundreds of homes and occasionally, tragically, the lives of either citizens or the courageous workers who come out to try and beat the flames back into submission. But for the most part, we take these fires in stride. And that got me to thinking about the concept of the new normal, the ability of humans to adapt to circumstances that initially would cause us to blanch and want to run away. I noticed a couple years back that I've been in California long enough that seeing a smoky plume from 20 miles away, I can usually make a good guess as to the fire's size, what they'll be throwing at it, and make a pretty good conjecture as to what might have caused it. I no longer panic. I don't get upset. I don't really worry at all except over whether it might impact traffic on the way to wherever I might be headed. And this is the way of people. Back in the frozen north, you gained a sense of the weather that told you well before news reports came in that a big storm was coming. You stocked up on firewood and flashlights. You picked up an extra ration of junk food and snacks in case the roads wound up closed for a few days before the plows would make it through to the farmlands and backwoods I called home. It wasn't frightening, and in my youth at least, you mostly looked forward to time home from school and the chance to play in the snow more than you worried about the digging out. I assume it's the same in other areas. I've heard about locals who don't so much barricade themselves in when a hurricane is coming as they do stock up on party supplies and get ready to challenge the gales head on. Sane people prepare to climb into storm shelters on a moment's notice throughout Tornado Alley, but there are also those adrenaline-seeking storm chasers who jump into their trucks and go out to see how close they can come, what kind of video they can grab. We are not, in general, shut down by disaster. We survive, we adapt, and move on. That ability to overcome shows up in personal crises as well. We take circumstances that should destroy us and get past them almost as if no troubles had ever befallen us. In a discussion of synthesized happiness, Dan Gilbert describes research that shows how accident victims who've become paraplegic rebound and are just as likely to be happy three months after losing the use of their limbs as our grand prize winners of the lottery. Although this also, sadly, shows us that the adaptability to a new normal can work both ways as winners of the lottery are just as likely to be unhappy after three months as are those who've become paraplegic. But that dark note aside, we have to take heart in our remarkable adaptability. Keep it in mind the next time some dark shadow looms ahead and know that you've got the ability, the very human ability, to get through it. We've done it before and we'll continue to do so. Have you experienced this in your life? Or are there changes coming that make you worry whether you'll be able to adapt? Share your triumphs or your fears down in the comments and know that we'll have a better chance to get through whatever together. Don't forget to be awesome and I'll talk to you again soon, hopefully.